Hello, what follows is a brief demonstration of the Alfresco Enterprise Content Management System. The first thing we're going to do here is log in. Upon logging in, we get access to the My Alfresco dashboard. This is a configurable dashboard, which, you, which we can personalize by, for example, managing the columns and adding or removing dashlets to these individual columns. Clicking Finish saves your settings. Now we have a personalized dashboard. To browse the document repository, click on Company Home. Company Home displays the different folders that exist within the, the, um, the content management system. To create a new folder to organize your content, simply click Create and Create Space. Clicking the Create Space button wraps up the process. Now that we have our sample folder, we can enter that folder by clicking on it and then click the Add Content button to upload a document. Click on Choose File and you can look for documents, for example, these images. Click OK, supply any additional metadata, and click OK again. Let's add another document, this time a Microsoft Word document. Once the document has been uploaded through the same process as before, we will have the document and our image stored within the repository. Now, if we want to edit or review the metadata associated with the document, simply click on this middle button here, which is the View Details button. Clicking on that but button reveals the metadata associated with the document. And if you want to uh, make changes to the metadata, simply click on the Edit button on the upper right-hand corner. Now I can make changes as desired except for the fact that I can't spell bulletin. You can also execute actions from here. These actions can be run manually or automatically. For example, in this case, I want to convert this document to a PDF document. To do so, I click on Run Action and select the type of action I want to execute. In this case, the one that I want is the Transform and Copy Content to a spe Specified Space. I click on that and inform Alfresco to convert this document to a PDF document. There are plenty of other options as well. I select the destination folder, in this case the same folder that I'm currently at, so there's really nothing else to do except click the plus button and click OK. I wrap up the wizard and what that will result in is the creation of a PDF version of that document. If I exit this, you will see the document now right here in PDF form. You can search for documents within the repository by using the search box in the upper right hand corner. Search results will be listed in the main body. There are different ways of reviewing search results, for example, clicking on the different views. The details view, for example, gives you the path where the documents are located. You can also execute other types of actions within your documents, whether from a search results or from the folder themselves, such as check in, check out, edit, and so forth. Advanced search capabilities are also available, which allow you to search for content based on metadata. Not only can we do a full text search of the content, but I can limit my search or restrict my search based on title description, or any other metadata that I may have uh, configured within the repository. In this example, I have installed the records management module for Alfresco. This allows us to, um, to query for records based on some unique identifier. Similarly, as you configure and customize Alfresco, additional options can be easily added through the configuration options. Now let's return back to my folder. 
Sometimes it is necessary to submit a, a document to a workflow. Alfresco offers various different features for workflow and capabilities. However, for this purpose, we're going to run the uh, advanced workflow. Clicking on advanced workflow allows me to select from a workflow from this list. The review and approve workflow is what I want to execute, so I click next and supply the required information. Workflows are, are developed using the JBoss JBPM Business Process Management Engine. This permits you to execute very powerful workflows um, that model different business processes very easily. In this case, I want to assign my workflow task to one of my colleagues, for example, my colleague Matt. I select his name from the list, click OK, and then hit Finish to execute the workflow. Now this document is going to be submitted to Matt. In order to see what uh, the experience looks like for him, I'm just going to go ahead and log out and log back in as Matt. Notice Matt's dashboard has a to-do item to review the document. I could click on that and review the document. Not only can I review the metadata, but I can also update certain metadata, such as its status. I can download the document if I wanted to, so just by clicking the, the document will result in downloading it. Let's assume that I did that, and what I want to do now is either approve or reject. So I can provide a comment, updated status, and approve it. Notice the task has disappeared from my to-do list. I'm going to log out and log back in as the original submitter. The submitter's review uh, to-do list now contains a notification that the task has been approved. So all I need to do now is remove this from my to-do list. This acknowledges that I've reviewed the task and, uh, and acknowledged that, that it has been indeed approved. Alfresco offers different ways to access the content management repository. This is what we've been looking at is the web-based client. However, Alfresco also supports the Microsoft SIFS protocol. This allows me to access the Alfresco repository as a shared network drive. So what we see here are my different uh, folders within the repository. I can access a folder very easily by just clicking around. For example, I access my home folder. I can then upload documents using simple drag and drop. I select as many documents as I want and just drop them into the repository. One advantage of the um, uh, SIFS interface is that I can edit the documents directly from within that, that document which will open the document up in Microsoft Word. Now here's my document. I can make a simple change and save the document directly back into the repository. If version control has been enabled within the content management repository, this will be saved as a completely new version. All I need to do is click Save and the document is saved directly into the repo. To prove that the document was indeed uploaded into the repository, I can access that same uh, home folder of mine by navigating to my home folder. There are a couple ways of doing that. I can use the tree-based navigation on the right-hand side and click on my name, or I could also click on my home up here. So here are my documents. That pretty much concludes the basic demonstration of the Alfresco Enterprise Content Management System. There are far more features that can be explored, such as the use of rules and workflows, etc.